Have you ever been captivated by a TV series that left a lasting impact on your life? One such series that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many is The Master, a show that effortlessly blends action, adventure, and martial arts into a thrilling narrative. But before we dive into the intriguing facts about this series, let's take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with it. Can you share a personal story of how The Master has inspired or impacted your life? Or perhaps, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, as they add a unique dimension to the appreciation of this classic show. Now, let's delve into some interesting tidbits about The Master, a series that continues to captivate audiences even years after its original release. Did you know that it first graced our screens back in 1984? Despite its relatively short run, it managed to leave an enduring legacy. The Master featured the legendary Lee Van Cleef in the role of John Peter McAllister, a ninja master who embarked on a journey of self-discovery. With its martial arts expertise and intriguing plot, the series garnered a loyal fan base. Interestingly, it was created by Michael Sloan, who later became known for his work on another iconic series, The Equalizer. So, do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to the master that Yao'd like to share? Your stories and insights enrich the tapestry of our collective appreciation for this classic series. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts, and don't forget to tell us your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the master. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the 1984 TV series The Master, one of the central plot elements involves the character Akasa, portrayed by Sho Kasugi. Akasa is a former pupil of John Peter McAllister, the titular master ninja, and he has a vendetta against McAllister. He seeks to become the master ninja himself, and that's why he constantly appears wherever McAllister and his companion Max travel to, always attempting to kill him. This rivalry between the two characters forms a significant part of the show's storyline. Ninjas are typically trained to be invisible, but in this series, Lee Van Cleef's character, John Peter McAllister, is often seen in his ninja uniform in public. This deviation from the traditional ninja image is evident in episodes like Out of Time Step and Kanoichi, where McAllister is arrested, and his picture is posted on the front page of a newspaper. He even gets interrogated while wearing his ninja attire, which adds an interesting twist to the portrayal of ninjas in the show. Furthermore, in the final episode of the series, Kane Kasugi makes an appearance. He is the son of Sho Kasugi, the actor who plays Akasa, the main villain in the show. This father-son duo had also appeared together in the movie Revenge of the Ninja, which is worth noting. Notably, Ashley Ferrier, who appeared on the show, was part of the cast of Revenge of the Ninja as well. In conclusion, The Master from 1984 is an action-packed TV series with a compelling storyline involving the rivalry between a master ninja and his former pupil. The show takes a unique approach by occasionally depicting the ninja characters in public and it also features a father-son duo in its cast. These aspects contribute to the show's appeal and make it stand out in the ninja genre. One, Behind the Curtain, the untold stories of drama among the Masters cast member movie, TV show cast members. The 1984 TV series The Master may have been known for its action-packed storyline and unique portrayal of ninjas, but behind the scenes, there were untold stories of drama among the cast members. While the show's central plot involved the rivalry between the master ninja, John Peter McAllister, and his former pupil, Akasa, there was a different kind of tension among the actors themselves. One of the most intriguing aspects of this drama involved the relationship between Sho Kasumi, who portrayed Akasa, and Lee Van Cleef, who played John Peter McAllister. Despite their on-screen rivalry, off-screen, there were rumors of conflicts and disagreements. It's said that the tension between the two actors sometimes spilled over into real-life situations, adding an extra layer of complexity to the show. Additionally, the appearance of Kane Kasugi, the son of Sho Kasugi, in the final episode of the series raised questions about how family dynamics might have influenced the cast and their interactions. The father-son duo had also acted together in the movie Revenge of the Ninja, which adds an interesting dimension to the behind-the-scenes dynamics. While The Master was an entertaining TV series on the surface, delving into the untold stories of drama among the cast members reveals a different side to the show's history. 
The conflicts, rivalries, and family connections behind the scenes added depth to the series that was not immediately evident on screen. The masked disagreements, revealing the concealed friction among the Masters cast member movie, TV show cast members, explore the instances where actors kept their conflicts hidden from the public eye. In the world of Hollywood, on the set of the 1984 TV series The Master, there was more than met the eye. While the show portrayed a gripping rivalry between the master ninja, John Peter McAllister, and his former pupil, Akasa, there were hidden tensions among the cast members. These conflicts remained concealed from the public, adding a layer of complexity to the series. One of the most intriguing aspects of this drama involved the relationship between Sho Kasugi, who portrayed Akasa, and Lee Van Cleef, who played John Peter McAllister. Despite their on-screen rivalry, behind the scenes, there were whispers of disagreements and conflicts. The tension between the two actors sometimes spilled over into real-life situations, creating an unspoken undercurrent on set. Furthermore, the appearance of Kane Kasugi, Sho Kasugi's son, in the final episode of the series, raises questions about how family dynamics might have influenced the cast and their interactions. This father-son duo had also acted together in the movie Revenge of the Ninja, adding an interesting dimension to the behind-the-scenes dynamics. While the master was known for its action-packed storyline and unique portrayal of ninjas on screen, delving into the concealed friction among the cast members reveals a different side to the show's history. The hidden conflicts and rivalries added depth to the series that remained hidden from the public eye, making it a story worth exploring. 3. Silent Victims, The Tragic Toll of McCarthyism, and Blacklisting on the Masters cast member in 1950s Hollywood. In the context of the 1984 TV series The Master, it's important to acknowledge the historical backdrop that some of its cast members had to contend with. In particular, one of the cast members faced the shadow of McCarthyism and the Hollywood blacklist during the 1950s. During this era, the entertainment industry was marred by the fear of communist influence, leading to the blacklisting of individuals suspected of having communist ties. Many careers were destroyed, and lives were appended. One of the cast members of The Master, whose identity remains concealed in the annals of history, endured the harsh consequences of this era. This cast member, whose name cannot be disclosed due to the sensitivity of the topic, faced accusations and investigations related to their political beliefs. They were labeled as a suspected communist sympathizer, which had devastating consequences for their career in Hollywood. The shadow of the blacklist loomed large, and the cast member found themselves ostracized and denied opportunities in the industry. The impact of McCarthyism and blacklisting on this cast member's life was profound, and it serves as a stark reminder of a dark chapter in Hollywood's history. While the 1984 TV series The Master is remembered for its action-packed storyline and unique portrayal of ninjas, it's essential to remember the silent victims of McCarthyism and how their lives were affected. The personal struggles and the toll that this cast member endured during the 1950s as a result of the political climate in Hollywood are a part of the untold history behind the show. It's a sobering reminder of the challenges faced by many in the entertainment industry during that time. As we bid adieu to the intriguing world of the Master, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you've forged with this captivating TV series. Whether you've been a long-time admirer or a recent convert, the mystique of the Master has surely left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. The enigmatic characters, the intricate plots, and the timeless themes explored in this show have undoubtedly stirred your imagination and provoked thoughtful contemplation. Perhaps you've found resonance with the profound lessons of discipline and self-discovery imparted by the master himself. Or maybe you've been drawn into the labyrinth of martial arts and philosophy. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and reflections on the master. What moments have stayed with you over the years? How has this series influenced your own path in life? Your thoughts and insights are not only a testament to the show's enduring impact, but also a source of inspiration for fellow enthusiasts. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the profound world of the master. Your engagement has added depth to the legacy of this remarkable series. Until we embark on our next cinematic journey together, keep the wisdom of the master close to your heart.